Green Thumb, uh, the Model T Garden in the Bronx, and I'm uh, here to uh, trying to save our garden because we grow a lot of vegetables. More gardens now! More gardens now! More So the goal is to preserve all the gardens forever, though. That is my my goal. All right. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. So, yes. but That's let me just be clear. I we're working towards that. I can't a thousand percent promise you we're gonna get there. We're working as hard. But that's what we want to hear. Right. Does anyone want to say anything since like they can't get inside? Uh, we're getting inside. You want to say anything to the camera? We're getting inside. What do you think about not being able to get in there? Well, so everything takes time. You must be a gardener. I am. I can tell by your patience. <laughs> I mean, I think it's really poor planning on all of your parts to not have capacity for more than, I mean, it was like maybe 100 people in there. You really thought that only 100 people would show up for this? Uh, I, I'm pretty sure capacity is more than 100. I read the sign, it said 295 people. And I counted 230, we did another count, 228. We did another count, went up to max, 238. And the, clock, the sign clearly says 295. You have no opinion of any? Public hearing, not being open to the public? They went in on these empty lots where the buildings crumbled to remove the debris and made community gardens. Brick by brick, Seed by seed, my community built a community for its residents that included permanent open space. We need to, either through the rules or legislation, and I, go, and I vow to go back to the city council to make sure that we create a pathway to permanency where our community gardens become permanent open space. Thank you.
They've been calling her name. They've been calling my name, I hear. And uh, we're with she's the registered. New York State Community Garden Coalition, six times. and she's with our group as well. And we were one of the gardens that was in the uh, Attorney General's stipulation. And uh, we, did, we fought the good fight, and we got to keep one garden, which was expanded. But now our community board is giving us a really hard time about wanting the garden to be keyed, which is illegal under the land trust, illegal under the parks department. And uh, so we may just go to the parks department, but we're very nervous about it. We had really looked forward to working with the trust for public land. Right now? I just hope that we're able to keep our garden because it's so much, it's so important to our community to be healthy, to eat healthy at this time in our life. We must eat healthy. To stay here on this earth, we must eat healthy. And I, and I say that I'm doing the best. Look at me, and I'm spending my trim. <laughs> No stomach, no nothing. I eat healthy. Thank you. How about you? I eat healthy How about too. you? <laughs> if you go to any whole food store, organically grown beets, you pay $4.99, $6.99 a pound. You go to the store, you're going to pay half. But if you support a community garden, grow it, you can, you can get it for free, you can give it away, you can do all these wonderful things. Support community gardens today.